All right. <clears throat> Good morning. Good e afternoon. Good evening. Sorry, I was reading. Um, it's Tragic Life here, back with Pokemon Yellow. We're about to go through the Sylph Company. Um, uh, yeah, never done this, so this would be fun. Uh, go ahead and hit that like, hit that subscribe button, the, uh, and leave me a comment. Sorry, I'm just waking up, moving slow this morning. Um, okay. So this place is pretty crazy, crazy for what I'm saying. And we're probably, we're definitely not going to get it done in the first video. Um, it's 11 floors, so yeah. The first floor, it says just go right to the lift. Not 100% sure where it is because I'm not actually looking at the map. All right. So go here. We're going to start with the fifth floor. Go west. I believe it's this way. That's not an elixir. Still spelled incorrectly. My way south. Step on the teleporter. Okay. All right, there we go. I heard a kid was wandering around. That's weird. Out an Arbok. I have not fought you in a while. Well, I didn't heal. That's not like me. You messed up, bud. That's what I was hoping for. I'm actually going to rearrange my Pokemon in a second so that they're actually, you know, all getting the correct amount. Boom. I don't know what to say to that. Alright, so... I'm going to move here. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Car key, yay! That was important. Alright, so now we're gonna go backwards. Come here. We're gonna try to do this systematically. No figure, no promises though. Alright. Alright, now we can bypass everything and we can just go. South, east, to encounter a rocket. Alright, I found him. He's got a lot. Hey kid, what are you doing here? I don't know, man. Just, just here. He does have a lot, but I don't think he has anything dangerous. This might be one of his more dangerous ones. So, we're gonna go ahead... Quick attack and do it. I think quick attack and do it. Oh, but right. Yes. Uh, 
well. We're gonna bring out butter. <sighs> yeah, might as well. He's gonna use a Zubat. I'm going to, yes, I'm gonna bring out Butterfree. I don't know enough about Pokemon to know if that's a mistake or not, but eh. I'm gonna go with no. It definitely wasn't. So we're having a pretty good video so far. I couldn't say that knocking on wood. Boy, am I trying to curse myself. Oh yeah, he's gonna bring out a Zubat. Another one. We're gonna do the same exact thing. I'm glad some of you guys are starting to like these videos. I'm actually having fun still doing them. Um, I feel like I'm a little bit rushed since I got back because I'm trying to get all the Madden videos out as well. Um, oh man, I didn't even talk about my trip. My God, what am I doing? So, on December 1st, I got married. Um, it was a, it, we, we had been planning that ceremony all year. Um, and I mean, we were both stressed out about it, so we were very worried that it was going to go off. I mean, the human family always comes with a little bit of drama. Our, our families are no different. Um, and we had to get everyone, you know, I got my family from California, her family's from Tennessee, so it wasn't as difficult for her family, some of them, most of them. Um, but I had to get my dad and my stepmoms, um, my brother Cool from Florida, my um, my step one of my stepmom lives in Idaho. My uh, my dad and stepmother, current stepmother, live in California. Um, so I just had people coming in from everywhere. I had to get them all out to <laughs> Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And I, we had to round them all up and get them all in the same spot so that we could go ahead and uh, kick off the ceremony. They all came out on Thursday, with the exception of my cousin Brad. Uh, he wasn't my best man. He was one of my groomsmen, and his son was my groomsman. Um, he had a baby. Well, his wife had a baby. Um, on the... Give me a second. I'm not 100% sure when that was. Let's see... On the 30th so she had her fourth child from him um, and then he jumped in the car the next day and booked it with his daughter both of his daughters and his son as well as his mother um, the, the wedding went amazing it was better than we could have ever expected um, we probably partied a little too hard honestly Hold on. I goofed. You probably did. Um, we the, the, we got married at uh, 3 p.m. their time, and we didn't stop partying until like 11. Uh, food was delicious. In the room to the south, we passed out by the potted plants. You can battle a scientist. Um, Zoblin's here. Go home. That Sunday morning, um, we went to Dollywood. Um, it was really too cold and rainy to really enjoy the ride, but we did some of her, like, she grew up there. That was a big part of her growing up. Um, so we got to do a lot of the shows that she grew up that were a big deal to her. Um, Christmas stuff and like that. She's a big Christmas person. You know, December wedding is technically a Christmas wedding, and it was very Christmas oriented. It was an amazing job. Um, so we went there, did a couple plays, rode the giant train. If you've been there, you know. If you haven't, then you don't. Um, they got a giant actual train. 
Um, rode that, then went home. Oh, I wish we didn't go home. That's not what we did. That's that's completely false. Um, we then uh, went back to bed. Uh, woke up in Pigeon Forge. Or well, we weren't actually in Pigeon Forge. We were out of the outskirts, but same difference, right? Um, and then we booked it back down to Nashville. Um, grabbed our pack bags and we flew to Florida for our honeymoon. Uh, got there, spent the night. Got there a lot later than we expected because there was a delay in the airport. Uh, blow tour. Ah, please don't blow up on me, bro. Don't blow up on me. I can't take it right now. Um. So we went to bed there, and then we ended up jumping on a ship the next morning. Is it going to hit itself? Please hit itself. Uh, that's fine, too. Um, and we took a cruise. Uh, we went out to... Um, oh, wow. I know Princess Bay was one of them. Oh, I can't think of the other one. Um, Macau? Might have been Macau. Um, and we were out on the ocean for a week. It was a little choppier than I'm used to. It wasn't the most enjoyable for me. I'm not used to that. Um, even though my last name has the word ship in it, it doesn't mean that we are ship people. Might have used to have been, but we're not anymore. Um, <laughs> uh, we got back on Friday. We stayed the night in Florida. Um, and then we flew back on Monday. Um, I don't know if everyone knows it, but Monday there was a bunch of tornadoes um, that hit the ground. One of them went for like 45 miles. It was crazy. Um, did a lot of stretch. My, my father currently is, well, my stepfather is currently um, unemployed due to it kind of taking out his building. Uh, but everyone I know is alive. Everyone that I know is fine. I know that there was a couple fatalities. Um, and for me, the big deal, you know, you know selfish me. I'm alright with that sometimes. But uh, we were flying in. They delayed our plane two hours. I was fine with that because I really didn't want to fly into a tornado. Not a big flying fan to begin with. Um, that was the bumpiest ride I've ever had. I didn't enjoy it. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. So I'm going to give you guys a heads up. This is going to be a shorter video. For this next video, I'm hoping to beat this. Please just kill him. All right. Um, next video, I'll do a longer one of this one. I got a, I got a little bit of a late start on this. I'm not quit, quitting now. I'm going to try to get another five minutes in. Um, but this is just like a sample of the self. Oh, that might be a good title. You're good. Thank you, sir. I try. I think I got potions. Okay, I don't really know what the PP is right now, so I don't know where that's going. Let's see. You definitely need it. Then you need it. Okay. Oh, level 37, that's perfect. I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna work with Pidio. That'll work. Alright. Alright. So we're gonna go this way. We're gonna talk to this gentleman here. No kids are allowed in here. I mean, do something about it. All right, so um, this one, uh, there's a difference between red and blue and yellow with this fight. Uh, it has to do with the Q-Bone. The Q-Bone in red and blue has Bone Club, Growl, and Leer, where this one has blown, Bone Club, Tail Whip, Headbutt, and Leer. So it adds, this one has a Headbutt, where the other one does not. Hmm. 
Watch him, Nene. Sorry, guys. Other than that, there's no differences between this one and Red and Blue. So I'm almost caught up on my Madden week 11. Um, I gotta start jumping on week 15 tonight um, because boy, I got three, two more games to do tomorrow, and then I got a bunch on Sunday. I'm trying to get all this done. It, the falling back four weeks on my Madden series is not been a great thing. Um, but I mean, what can you do when your computer goes down? I'm just happy to have my computer back. I haven't even started on back on my Final Fantasy, and I'm ready to beat that, guys, so we can move to Final Fantasy V. And then eventually six, because six is the one that I've never got to play. Uh, when I was a kid, I rented it, and I was so excited, I was so ready, because, you know, I'd just beaten Chrono Trigger, which is still one of my favorites. So happy. And then my Super Nintendo stopped working. It broke on Final Fantasy VI, so I never got to play it. I got to watch other people play it on here. Oh, I didn't see what he said. My bad. Alright, so the final trainer should be over here. Bingo. That's why you need the key card. Help, I'm a Sylphan player. I mean... Are you an employee or are you a slave? Because there's a difference. If you're an employee, you made a decision. If you're a slave, you, the decision was made for you. Ugh, grimers. Don't shrink. Yeah, I think we're only going to clear up this floor. Sorry, guys. Next time, I, I'm going to try to do the entire Silk Company on one video. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. All right. All right, he's going to pull out a wheezing. If it's working, why change it? Sludge me. That sounds terrible. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, of course I was poisoned. Alright. I wish there was a faster way to progress uh, without using turbo. I took away my turbo button because I was getting in trouble with it. Getting all crazy. All right, Star you grew to level 13. Copying. Oh, uh, this fight could get dangerous. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Oh, I was hoping you'd level up so I can get you in the back. I have the cure for the poison. I just can't use it right now. Okay. Last one. No.
You can't poison me anymore, buddy. I mean, you can try. Come on. There's only two more things to do on this floor besides beat this guy. Oh, come on. Don't kill me. Alright. I think we're gonna survive. Alright. How did you know I was a rocket? I didn't know you were a rocket. Thank you for telling me that. I didn't realize Silk Company and Rocket were the same thing. Okay. I actually didn't know that. I don't know if we were supposed to know that and I missed it, but... I mean, thanks, bro. Alright. Bingo! The card key, open the door. Eek! No, stop! Help! Oh, you're not with Team Rocket. I thought. I'm sorry. Here. Please take this. Ah, uh, Ash got TM36. Alright, so TM36 is self-destruct. Um, it's effectively a 260 power normal type move. With uh, The extreme drawback of it, honestly, is that it means you're KO'd. You lose whoever you're... you equip it to. Um, it's not useful in the game as you typically want to avoid fainting at all cost. Especially since Pokemon experience uh, receive no experience if they faint. As well as this, self-destruct is outclassed by another team move, TM move Explosion, which has the same negative effect but with a higher power. TM36 is unique, so you can hold on to it for that, if nothing else. So at this point, we're going to go to the third floor. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Um, so, adios, amigos. Bye-bye. Uh, I just got to hit the